Well, we are celebrating a very special birthday today. Marks and Spencer's Colin the Caterpillar Cake. Look at him. 30 years old today. Juliet Sear, can you believe that? He is I, iconic, Colin the Caterpillar. He's iconic. I can't believe he's 30 years old. It just makes it... it time's flown. I mean... So I think originally they were th thinking this was a kid's birthday cake, but more adults, I think, yeah. <laughs> end up with one of these. There's something the about kids. it, isn't there? There's so many people that just always have to have a Colin at their birthday, or we at thought, weddings even. Yeah, we thought <laughs> we'd pay homage to him yeah. today. So, obviously, you can't, you know, you can't recreate Colin. No. But we can do <laughs> little treats in his honour. Exactly. Colin-inspired, lovely bakes to celebrate. So, I've got three to show you. And the first thing I'm going to show you is um, some lovely sandwich biscuits. Um, they're really easy to do. So I've got some cookie dough here, and it's a simple cookie dough made with butter and sugar cream together, one egg, and then some plain flour and some cocoa powder, and the recipe's online. Um, so you just make it into a dough that you can roll out. And if you want to cheat, you can just buy some shop-bought chocolate biscuits and do this. So you just roll it out to about half a centimetre thick, and then just stamp out the rounds, pop them onto a tray, bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes until they're firm, let them cool down, and then it's time to bring them to life as the Colin biscuits. And I've actually even made a giant pull apart, tear and share one here, so you can <laughs> do that too. So once they're cooled down, just take a biscuit and I've got some chocolate buttercream, obviously, because the flavours are chocolate sponge with chocolate buttercream. Just squeeze that on. Oh, it's, well, it's gone a bit stiff. A bit stiff, my buttercream's a bit stiff. <laughs> It's usually too wet, it's yeah, too um, it's melty, it's melted, here. Hasn't but it? yeah, yeah, and then just kind of squash it together. So that's your sandwich biscuit. And then to do the face, it's really easy. Um, I've cut out some um, icing just with the same cut that I so did. You can buy biscuits. that. Is that just fondant buy some icing? Soup, fondant icing, yeah. ready to roll. Um, so just cut it with the same round cut that we used for the biscuits. And then to make the face, I've got a knife and just sort of cut about a quarter of the way in. So we're doing his like antenna bits, and then just give them a squeeze like that just to kind of create it. And then, obviously, it's got the chocolate button eyes, so just press them in, squish them in like that, and then I've just used a cup just to kind of form the features like that. So you can just use any sort of modelling tool and then so just do a little this smile. This is him, look, that's There funny. he is. And they're oh. really tasty. So then that just gets stuck on top of your... So, oh, I've just lost, <laughs> lost his eyes now. But that's, the, that's, what, <laughs> that's what you get, so a little sandwich. Caterpillar face sandwich biscuit. Um, next one I've got is really fun layered jelly. Now I love jelly. It's so yes. could you, this could is Amy's favourite. Could now? I just interrupt you there? Yeah. Because my wife was correcting me live oh, on Oh, he's going to prove me wrong. Uh, he loves this bit. Al I'm, just, I'm only reflecting what the public are saying. Okay. Alan GB, thank you very much indeed, Alan. Gelatin is rich in protein and has a unique amino acid profile that gives it many potential health benefits. There is evidence that gelatin may reduce joint and bone pain increase brain function, and for Ruth, help reduce the signs of skin ageing. <laughs> you did not Cheeky. say for Ruth. No, he didn't You've say added that. that. Do you want, do you but it does help jelly? reduce the signs of skin ageing, which is what I said. That's why you eat so much of it, is it? I, I don't need any of it. I think, why don't we order it? Why well, don't we do what Juliet is doing here? You don't, you're going to get gelatin-free jellies now, as well, if yeah. you're vegan. So I've just... All you do is pour the jelly in the bowl, let it set um, in the fridge, and I've sort of done a multiple-layer one here, so I'm doing green and yellow, inspired by the lovely so green... So you've got the Colin caterpillars in the bottom, the sweets? So I've got some sweets in there, which are kind of... These are the caterpillar, the jelly yeah. sweets. Um, so I've just kind of trapped them in the jelly, so it's like caterpillars suspended within the jelly. Okay. And then you just build up the layers, and like, you can do it in a large one or a small one. So each layer, you have to let it set? Let it set in the fridge. A larger one will take about an hour or so, but the small one's about half an hour. So... And that just creates that layer... And then we can see that on so you your can see, yeah. yeah. And I've just topped this one with some custard, some whipped cream, and then it looks lovely just finishing off with a load of sprinkles. So it looks really sort of fun, adds the party element to celebrate. And then what um, have you done with that? We've got this little you've antenna got, so, yeah. here. So these are really fun. Obviously, it's got its chocolatey antenna. Easy to make. I've got some of the biscuit sticks that you can buy. Oh, and yes. just some melted chocolate. Dip it in there like that. Chocolate button and... Just stick it on like this. And they, they set within sort of a minute or two. Leave them to set. And then I'm just going to add... What jelly is that? You, is that lime? Is that... Uh, lemon and lime, lemon yeah. Lemon and lime, very nice. It's delicious, isn't it? Mm. It's just so nostalgic. It just reminds me of birthday parties. I'm looking for a sweetie. So I'm just going to plunge them in and that gives him the sort of... that kind of layered jelly element with the 
antennas. And then lastly, we've made some cupcakes. So I've got some chocolate Sorry, cupcakes. Sorry, I'm, I'm sweet. You're enjoying I'm, those, aren't you? <laughs> I'm fishing for cal Colin the caterpillar. Got it. So for the mm. cupcakes, we've got the recipe online. Again, you can make your own or you can buy shop-bought. And to decorate, I've got some vanilla buttercream. So I'm just going to pipe that all around the top. Just in a circle right, like that. that. You enjoying that? Enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like not what the food's here for. <laughs> and it's then... Like this. <laughs> So, inspired by the face, I'm going to add the chocolate button eyes at the front, like this. And, obviously, he's got his chocolate buttons, which are his decoration over the back of the Colin cake. So, we're adding these on to the cupcakes. And then, lastly, I'm just going to use the same antenna again, just kind of break them down a bit, so... Cos they're a bit big. So that's with our, the, the biscuit stick biscuit and stick. your chocolate button. So, that's button. just adding that element in there again, so pop them in like that. I'm going to have to go in, Juliet. Yeah. I'm going in. There we go. So that's the, the lovely Colin-inspired celebration bakes. Perfect for any party. Thank mm. you very much indeed. Juliet, I don't lovely. know if I've ever said this before, but <laughs> you're my favourite. Oh, thanks, <laughs> you David. My favorite. You're my favourite. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's lovely. Very, very nice. Thank you um, very much, Juliet. And all Juliet's recipe details are on the This Morning app. They're lovely, Juliet. Thank you. So Thank creative. you.